Hey everyone, Sierra Loves Dogs here. And while this is not a dogs channel, I do love dogs, but that was just the name that my daughter helped me come up with when she didn't want her friends to be able to find me on TikTok and it stuck. This is Chloe. This channel is going to be all about my struggle with stuff and you get to help me and it'll be our journey together as I go through my sorting. My dad had a poem and it was use it up, wear it out, make it last or do without, which was the mantra of my upbringing. Every week I intend to go through a part of my house today. We are in my closet and as you can see, um, we call this a whip. This is a work in progress. One of my challenges is I tend to be very detailed and very organized, which may not be apparent from what you see behind me, but let me show you my sunglass drawer. You can see that when I do organize something, it's very well organized, but it actually prevents me from um, making decisions and moving forward because you want everything perfect. I almost have an OCD method where I can't jump ahead. So if I see something over there that I know I'm not wearing or not using, I can't actually get rid of it until I um, get to that part of my closet, which that's just me. Um, that's just how I work and operate. So, so today we are doing my purse drawer. So let's see what's in here. As you can see, it's stuffed full. Um, the first thing they say is to take everything out and then go through it. So I'm going to do that. Okay, and then I'm going to clean out my drawer. Okay, my drawer is clean. Should I not have a purse drawer? What do you do for your purses? Some people have them like displayed in containers or organizers. I, I've always had a drawer. I don't know if that's the best thing. Um, and it's not the only place I have um, purses. So I've got to kind of figure that out. Uh, as I was pulling them out, I noticed some things right away that I'm going to be able to say no to. So that's good. Some of these are going to be harder choices. So uh, let's go through these. Okay, for a while I was using the, the Michi purse system. Have you guys seen this? It's this um, outer, it like it's like a magnet and it goes around this purse and you can interchange um, your, your cover. So it has all these different looks. Um, I love this for the longest time, but um, it just kind of feels boxy and I haven't used it for gosh, maybe five or six years. So all of my, my Michi purse um, covers are gonna go away. I don't even know where my Michi purse is, but these are all gonna, I'm just gonna donate them. Um, I'll take them to Savers and um, if I can find my purse even better, but regardless, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna donate those. This one, I think my mom gave it to me and I've always kind of liked the idea of it, but I've never used it. I think she, Got it from um, like Home Shopping Network or QVC, one of those. Joy in Maine. It's brand new. It's so cute. Again, I think I'm just going to donate it. It's it's a little big for what I use, and I just, um, I, I, I'm going to donate it. It's okay. Um, I love this one. I'm keeping it. I got this um, this last year on Zulily. I think um, they had it on Amazon. I want to say for 50 bucks or something, but I found it on Zulily for a steal. So um, I'll actually link both of those. I don't know how the linking all works, but I'll figure that out. But it's super cute. It goes with so many things. Cute little summary. A little bit dressier. Um, you know, cute little handbag. Isn't it cute? Love it. Keeping. This one is also new to me this year. It's um, like garage strap garage guitar <laughs> strap style and I just love the the crossbody this is my I don't know how it was still their purse we went to go see Elton John at Levi Stadium and it was too big to go into the concert venue so I took out all of my um my wall you know my uh ID and my money my phone and everything just stuffed it I had pockets stuffed everything in my pockets took the purse and found some bushes, some hedges outside of the stadium and tucked it in there. And when we came back after the concert, it was still there. So this is my like magical purse. I'm definitely keeping this one. Keep, I'm keeping more ones that are like crossbody style right now um, that are a little bit smaller. The big ones, I, I'm not really using big purses anymore. So I will keep this one. This falls into that category. Look how cute this one is. It's got the lining that is isn't that fun? I got this at a little boutique in Palm Springs. I want to say it was like $13. So um, good money spent because I use it all the time and it's held up pretty well. This is a fanny pack I got from a trade show. Um, not keeping. <laughs> Never used and 
um, don't intend to use. I think at the time I thought it was a really cool thing, but plastic bag. Okay, this kind of falls into the category of things that I'm using. It's gray, it's a crossbody, it's the right size. What I don't love about it though is it's just one single pocket. I don't know if I should keep this or not. What do you guys think? I feel like like things would just fall out. I like it, but I don't know how useful it's gonna be. I, I'm putting this in a maybe pile. Black backpack, yes, I use this all the time. I actually have used this as my primary purse for um, trips and um, it's a little bit bigger than my normal purses, but it's super useful and I like having weight distributed across um, my shoulders instead of like on one side or the other. So this is, this is a keep. Oh, this one makes me sad. This this was in one of my very first Pop Sugar boxes. It's a jewelry case, but the, um, the zippers are kind of getting all stuck now, and this one even came off. So this is something I'm getting rid of, but I liked it and used it for a number of years, and it feels so nice and um, just have such good memories of using this. But it's going away. Bye-bye. Okay, is this a purse? I don't know what this is. It's like a little black... Is it, look at the cute zebra in the middle. Um, I feel like this is more, is this like a travel container? I feel like this is not a purse. Maybe, maybe this is for travel. I think I might keep this. I don't know. I like it. I've never used it though. I don't know what it's from or where I got it and I've never used it. So should I keep it? Look at this little straw bag. I use this one. It's cute. It's got little pockets. It even has a little, little pocket divider in there. So this is a keep. I use this one. Okay. So this is kind of interesting. I feel like this was either out of FabFitFun or um, Pop Sugar or one of those, but it's just um, a big zippered pouch and then you can fold it over and carry it. I like it. No, no, I'm not keeping it. What? I've never used it. I don't think I've ever used it. It's cool. No, no. Okay, look at this one. It's so cute. Isn't it little? It's so adorable. I don't even think it would fit a phone. I have to keep this though. I don't know why. Do I have to keep it? Look how little it is. You you can't put a phone in there. You can't even put a credit card in there. You can put like maybe lipstick and um, oh, there's something in here. No, it's just stiff. No, there's nothing in there. You could put like a lipstick and a credit card. <laughs> That's it. Isn't it so cute? I think I have to keep this though. Look how cute it is. Okay, I'm keeping. Okay, this is that same idea as the one I just looked at. Again, I think this is like a Fat Pit Fun or Pop Sugar or something, but I, I actually have used this one. Um, it's a little bit, I think, nicer quality. The other one, this one is just kind of a, a cloth and this one's more of a pleathery feel. And then you can fold it in or you can fold it out and see the design. Um, this one actually has internal pockets. I don't know if you can see down there, but um, for division versus the other one was just straight down. So um, I feel good about getting rid of my other one because um, I do have this one if I want that kind of style. I have used this one. Oh, and here's another one. <laughs> How many of these do I have? This one clearly never used because the plastic's still on the tag. But I kind of like this one too. I feel like I would use this one and this one more than I would use this one. But do I need two? Would I use would I, do I ever, would I ever need to? This is, this is where I need help with someone to tell me to get rid of stuff. Um, I like, this one actually feels really nice. Oh, and it's got a magnet. Oh, did you hear that? It's got a little magnet. I don't think this one has a magnet. No, but that one's got just a flappy. I'm keeping both of these, but I'm getting, I'm still getting rid of the other one. Oh, here's the strap for this one. Found it. Okay, so I got Ipsy, the monthly makeup subscription for a really long time, and they send the cutest little bags, and I'm not getting it anymore, but I still held on to a lot of the bags. Like this little silver one, I've actually used this just to go out, you know, go out and you don't really have anything that match, so I just put my stuff in this. So I'm going to keep this because I've, I've actually used it a few times, even though it's just a little cheap makeup bag. This one, I don't know. Actually, I'm going to defer these Ipsy bags to my next sorting because um, that whole sorting is like makeup bags and stuff. So we'll get to that one another time. Can I defer? I can do that, right? It's my rules. And here's another one. Defer. I 
Okay, this one makes me sad because I used it so often, so long, and it was such a great piece. It's just like, a, it's a chain and it used to fit phones and I would put my phone in here and I put a credit card in and I just had this cute little thing for the whole night. Phones are bigger now. My phone is bigger. It doesn't fit in here and it's gotten all these like chinks in it, like where the chain, it just like, I can't undo them. And so I don't feel like it's as nice anymore. And it just makes me sad because I love this. Maybe I should look for something like this to replace it. Maybe I'll do that. I'll Google and see if I can find something like it. But I think I got to get rid of this one because every time I pick it up, I just, it doesn't feel right anymore because of all the little chinks. Is that the right word? Chink? Chink in the chain? Chain chink? <laughs> Is that what we call this? In no way am I getting rid of these. So this is um, from a long time ago. I think this was my grandma's. And it's just all um, glittery, shimmery, silver. Um, I don't even know. New Year's Eve. I'm not going to use this often. Although we are planning to go to the opera this year. So I can use gloves and maybe take this purse. But look at how it's just like it's so cute. I'm totally keeping this. It makes me happy. It sparks joy. Um, this one, kind of the same idea, but it's more of a hobo style. And even though, you know, I mentioned I'm doing more crossbody, I still kind of like this. This I got, um, it was maybe 10 years ago. It was the day after Christmas at Target. And I remember because they consider this part of their holiday sale, um, this was half off. And I want to say it, so maybe it was like 14 bucks and I got it for like seven. So um, I've used this actually a lot. I think it's super cute and I'm keeping it. Okay, isn't this a fun little bag? I feel like this was actually on the floor in my closet, so it has some heel marks because I've stepped on it a couple of times, but I still feel like, oh, actually, look, it's got a bunch of them. This is what happens because I have clutter. Like, things get ruined in my cabinet. I feel like this is, doesn't look cute anymore because I've ruined it. Bummer. I kind of like this. This is incentive for me to do a better job taking care of my stuff because now I don't like it, and it's my own damn darn fault for stepping on it in my um, closet. So I'm, I'm going to give this to someone that doesn't mind all the heel marks. Bummer. I really like this one. I mean, are they that bad? They're kind of bad. Are they bad? They're bad. I wouldn't use this, right? Would you use it? I don't know. I'll put it in the maybe pile. I'm getting rid of it. It's going to bug me. It's going to bug me every time I go to grab it that it's got heel marks in it. So it's a no. So story time. I was bit by a rattlesnake and every time I see rattlesnake print, I'm drawn to it. So um, I have this little clutch from Nine West. I don't know if, I think I've used it a couple of times, um, but it really makes me happy. It's, you know, a little thing like that, a little handle. Um, it's not quite the style. Like I said, I'm, I'm really um, going more for crossbody right now, but um, it just makes me happy and it's snakeskin and that's just my thing because of my rattlesnake bite. I do most of my shopping at Savers, TJ Maxx, and Zulily because I'm cheap. Um, that's one thing you need to know about me. I'm cheap. So, um, but I also understand and appreciate name brands. So I do have a whole bunch of coach purses that I haven't paid full price for that I've found at <laughs> Savers. Um, but I don't use them and I feel like I shouldn't just donate them back to Savers because I mean, they're valuable, but I really don't use them. And, and they're kind of big for my day to day. Like I'm not using a big purse. I'm using that crossbody, you know, size and style. I feel like Oh, you know what I should do? Have you guys heard of ThreadUp? So ThreadUp is an online thrift store and they do resale. I should sell them to ThreadUp. So I think I'm gonna do that with this big one. I, I've never used it. It's been in this drawer for three, four years. Same thing with this one. This one's kind of cute. This one's actually more, you know, the size that I would use. I might actually keep this one. Maybe I'll start, maybe I'll start using it because I can now see it and get to it. Um, so that one, I think I'm going to keep, I think that one's cute. Also, I don't know about you, but, um, for the last few years, I feel like everything's been gray and black. And then all of a sudden this year, the trend is back to brown. So I am wearing a lot more brown, um, accessories, uh, pants, things that I haven't worn in the past. I've been mostly, you know, black and gray, but br I feel like it's warming up this year. 
Okay, this one, I kind of love it though. Look, it's pink, it's kind of big. When am I gonna ever, this is going in the maybe. I'm putting this in the maybe pile. Okay, these were new purses I got this year for Christmas. Isn't this adorable? So look at the size, of, this is the one I'm getting rid of. And then like versus this one, they're, they're both red, um, but this one is, it's just like, it's a, it's a more dainty styled, um, you know, and it's, it's, it can be used as a crossbody or you can use the little handle, but I think this is more the size that I'm interested in right now. If you can see how it is up against me. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay. I also got this one as a gift this year. And actually, if you look at it, remember this gray one that I had, it's not completely dissimilar from the gray one, except from a usability standpoint, it's got, um, internal zippers and you know different places I can put things so I, I would feel safer about using this one than using this one so maybe this is going to allow me to let go of this one because they're both kind of neutral this one's um, like a hunter green color which I feel like is uh, kind of a neutral both the red one and the green one are from uh, Francesca so I'll link those down below here's the new one I got from my boyfriend isn't this so cute it's a little Tori Birch, and this is probably going to move to be my everyday style other than the Lululemon um, kind of activewear one that I use, but um, this I think is going to go with so many different things. What I love about it, and actually he had given me a Kate Spade one and I returned it and got this one because look how flexible this is. I'm all about usability of my purses, and the one that I had that was the Kate Spade one, you couldn't open it, but look, I can get in here and so many different little zipper compartments and pouches I can use and I'm loving the crossbody. I think that's the style du jour for me. And um, again, this is just going to go with everything. It's cream. So unless I'm wearing white, um, <laughs> it should pretty much go with everything. And it has its own little, little, pur I've never had a purse with a little purse bag before. I feel so special. Okay. So, um, what I have left is, I'm still debating about this one. It's bigger than what I normally gravitate towards, but oh my gosh, it's pink, it's so pretty. So I think I might just put it on a shelf and maybe I'll find an occasion to use it. I just can't seem to part with it. So I think I'm just gonna keep it. And then I have this thing. I feel like, could I use this for just travel or is it not gonna be very practical? I'm gonna put this in my next week's sorting pile. Oh my gosh, it's getting full in here. Okay. Okay, I still don't know about this one. I really like the gray, and but it's stiff, and there's just nothing in it. Um, I just don't know, but it's cute. I mean, I really like it, but I don't know. What do you think? Okay, you wanna see the drawer now? This was my very first YouTube attempt and my intent is to post a new video every week showing my struggles with going through my stuff and trying to get organized. I'm open to ideas. If you have organizational um, psychology that you can offer or organizational tools or techniques, I'm all ears. If you're a local neighbor and friend and you saw something that I'm getting rid of and you want it, it's yours. Let me know. If you think I made a mistake and should be getting rid of something that I did definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your philosophy on um, the decisions that I'm making. I do need all the help I can get. And if you found this at all interesting and you'd like to follow the rest of my journey, please consider subscribing. And if you hit that like button, that would help me a ton. And next week we are going to tackle, I can't even open the drawer. It's the uh, makeup drawer and travel drawer. And this is Ginger. Yeah, baby. These are my babies.